Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days, <clears throat> excuse me, last couple of days I've been playing around off camera trying to come up with a low power simmer for a Trangia burner. Not that I have any problems with the simmering, it's just that I'm trying to do things that this wasn't designed for, like in the baking. Now when I did baking on this, dry baking on this, I had this simmering crack down to a real small aperture there. Uh, flames were coming up here and in this little hole and even with that it was a little bit too hot to conveniently dry bake any muffins or anything. So what I was playing with was going back to my wicking stuff that I like to play with and I found some small soda can tops that I cut off with a safety cutter this was the first one I tried with two wicks now this fits right over the uh, Trangia real nice that it hopefully you can see this it covers the jets now on the first test that I did I tried it with two wicks this uh, I got a 135 degree raise in water temperature in 11 minutes so according to John's chart from over at Flat Cat Gear that was the equivalent of about 220 watts the only problem was uh, with thermal feedback the jets were sending alcohol out from underneath so it might not have been a, a good test jets were coming out through here turned out this wasn't heavy enough so what I did with my second one was I just happened to have a copper ring that fit right in there real nice and that gives me enough weight on that lid that it, it'll hold the jets down this time I have one with only one wicking this one was two this one I just punched the hole right in the center a eighth inch hole doubled the wicking over and pulled it up through that's about three-eighths of an inch standing up there so this is what I'm gonna try today so let me go get my water prepped and I'll be right back okay I got my water prepped here let me light this now, like I said that wick is it's a double wick pulled out about three-eighths of an inch I've uh, put out the methanol into the Trangia what's nice is that inner tube just acts like a tank for the wicking okay I've got a flame now I better put this on my water's already gone up to 61 so we've got two cups of water starting at 61 degrees and let's see where this goes okay we're seven minutes into the test the temperatures up about 10 no 20 degrees it's up to 82 this shows you a little bit of what that flame looks like might be a little bit slow in this case I might have to try the uh, two wick one again with the weight so that the jets don't come out the side so let's see where this goes okay there we are in 35 minutes it's gotten up to 139 okay so that makes a delta temperature of 78 degrees sorry a change in temperature from starting at 61 degrees that means that this setup has raised the temperature uh, what did I say 78 degrees yeah let me put this out because I want to measure how much alcohol was used alright according to the chart that John sent me to figure out wattage of this stuff so that was 35 minutes with a delta temperature sorry a temperature change of 78 so that's about right there so that means this is only putting out about 41.9 watts what I'm looking for 41.9 watts 
what I'm looking for is around 100 watts to be able to uh, do dry baking. All right, so apparently either the wick's too small or the other thing I was thinking about when I was setting here is I've actually raised the position of this flame somewhat. So maybe this stand doesn't work. It's not tall enough to lift the pot up. So that means I'll have to try something else again there. Maybe I'll go back to trying the two wick using the weights. Another thing I was thinking about while I was sitting here waiting for this stuff to come up. This will also work on the large Trangia. Hopefully this focuses in. See how it covers the jets and sets right in there nice. So this would come up with a simmering or a simmer device for the large Trangia. But I just need to put weight on this because it tends to push the this thing is so light that it the string just pushes it up and out. But with a little bit of weight it'll just set there. So a couple of things here. Maybe try a different pot stand. Go back and try the two wicks again but with a little bit of weight so I don't get jets coming out the side. And it continues. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. I thank John over at Flat Cat Gear for his information. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.